afternoon, Billionaire Squad. It's your girl, Donna the Beat, and I'm back with another video. Um, today, we are doing the third day of business formula. And today, we are talking about scaling and expansion. So, the first day, we did structure. The second day, we did planning. And today, we are doing scaling and expansion. So, once you have planned your business, you want to take action. Now, we need to get this engine running. We need to make sure that it is a money-making vehicle, okay? And today I'm gonna to just go over a couple of ways to make your business a money-making vehicle. So the question everyone has when they are getting their business running is, how do I expand? How do I get clients? How do I get this business moving? So we're gonna go over a couple of those ways today. I wanna thank everybody who's been sticking with me on the channel. This is not easy. Anybody who tell you YouTube is easy, it is not easy, okay? Because you still have to push through even when you're tired, when you're going through stuff, or when you're not feeling your best, when you load it up with homework like I am right now. So I wanna thank everybody who's been staying with me on the channel. Thank you for all the encouragement. Thank you for all the support. I do wanna tell y'all that soon my content will be um, slightly changing only because I have a desire for you guys to be your best self. How can you run a business when you are not healthy, when your spirit is not at, it, at an all-time high? Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about just uh, health as well. So we're going to be talking about health. We're going to be talking about spirituality, but we're also going to be talking about business. We're, um, and then another thing we're going to be talking about is wealth management because you hear a lot about generational wealth, but how can you create generational wealth when you are not even putting um, in place the proper things that you need in order for this wealth to transfer to your children, to the next generation? Um, a lot of people are in their 30s and they don't even have like estate attorneys. They have no way of transferring their assets to their children. So... We're gonna be talking about that. It's a real thing. It's just a lot on my heart that I wanna to talk to you guys about because okay, yeah, money is cool, business is cool, but it is a lot more that goes into it than just being an entrepreneur. You have to be strategic and you have to be a thinker. You have to be a person that premeditate things. You have to know that, okay, I'm not gonna live forever. I have to be able to create a will, a trust for my kids and things like that. So we need to get on the most important things right now and not just so much money, money, money. Okay. So let's get right on into it. Um, a couple of ways uh, to scale your business is to one, list yourself. So get familiar with uh, Google My Business, also Yelp and know yellow white pages things like that places where people go to find businesses so uh, it sounds crazy but people still use yellow and white pages it's one in the front room right now they drop them off still so make sure that you are listing yourselves in all the possible places so look it up google it places to list my business like and then pick the most popular ones so that people you know people so like Google My Business is very popular because everybody runs to Google for everything. Okay, and Google My Business has a lot of perks to it. Once you get into Google My Business, you can do a lot for your business. Like um, you can create a location extension, right? Which is very important because if you want to dominate your area that you're in, you can go into your Google My Business and you can add a location extension. And now everyone who's typing in maybe taxes near me, they can find you easily. So um, list yourself, that is number one. Number two will be to run ads. So running ads is very effective because everybody is on their phones, their computers, uh, like 100% of the time, I'm not even gonna say 90% of the time. And so computers and phones have search engines and they, have, they store data. And it's just a lot that has to do with technology. So if you are to run an ad and the keywords that a person is putting into their phone, eventually it's gonna start popping up on their YouTube, their Facebook, their Instagram. So running ads is very important. I also think that everyone should have a marketing budget if you're looking to scale your business because growing your business is not gonna be free. I don't know why people have this impression but it's not true. So you have to have a marketing budget because you have to pay to get your business out to other people. And you, 
you know, it's not just the old traditional way of like just newspaper and like flyers and stuff. Like you had to, um, you have to spend money on a lot of things, running ads and, you know, business cards, maybe t-shirts. It's just like, you want to drill your business into their heads. Like you never want them to forget about your business. So you want a marketing budget because you want to be able to, um, promote your business in many, many ways. So we said, list yourself. We said, all right, my camera dies, so let's get right on to it. Uh, we talked about list yourself, we talked about running ads, and we talked about having a marketing budget. So I do want you guys to get familiar with email marketing because email marketing is a way for you to capture all of the emails of the people who are interested or may have browsed your business or may have heard your sales video. Either way, it's a way for you to capture contact information, okay? So, um, email marketing is a way for you to continue to reach back out. all right so my camera is being crazy but so as i was saying e email marketing is a way for you to reach back out and have a couple of touch points to you know will those customers and those people who are interested you can draw them back to you so um it's really when a system it's an automation system so if you guys want me to touch more on that comment down below i'm trying to wrap this video before my camera dies again so uh, email marketing is important because you're able to collect emails and contact information and constantly reach back out to people send them offers and make sure that they stay interactive into your business moving on we're going to talk about live streaming because live streaming is very very um, beneficial when it comes to promotion and advertising and just being in the midst of the public there are a lot of live streaming platforms like Twitch, um, POF Tag, Meet Me, Bego TV. So it is a lot of live streaming platforms. They're very, very beneficial. I've met a lot of good people just doing live streaming because it's not like Facebook and Instagram where you're constantly promoting to the same revolving individuals. It is a way for new people, hundreds and thousands of new people to meet you, to hear about your brand, and you're meeting new people on a daily. So live streaming is very, I give two thumbs up to live streaming. Anybody who's looking for a way to be interactive with the public on a daily basis and meet hundreds of new people um, and promote their business, I would say open up live streaming platforms. So like Tag and Meet Me and POF, those are not just platforms for dating. I spend hours on those platforms just promoting business and it's very beneficial. I meet some very serious people on there, not just people who want to sit and watch me like YouTube and Instagram. So I recommend live streaming to any business who is looking to uh, promote to the public new hundreds of people on a daily. So next thing would be recruiting and training. So to uh, advance your business, after you get your planning together, after you start promoting and actually getting your business to run and you want to start recruiting and training people so that you can put other people in position and you can expand your business quicker. So I would say two places to um, recruit is to, um, I would say Upwork and Fiverr only because one, you can do public recruiting and those are people who probably have no idea about the business. You'll have to train them from scratch, but Upwork and Fiverr have people who are probably already in the same industry as you. They probably already have prior knowledge. They are already experienced in the business. And so now you have a partnership of people who are serious about joining, uh, who have experience and who can help you continue to build and scale your business. Maybe they were looking for a teammate as well. So. Those are good sites. I don't want to uh, take this too long because I don't want my camera to die. I want to thank everybody who's watching my videos. Thank you for tuning in for four days of business formula. Tomorrow we are doing exiting strategies. So make sure you're here for tomorrow because after our fourth day, I'm going to be, it's going to be life lessons going on on my channel. Uh, we're going to talk about exiting strategies and then we're going to get right on to uh, talking about wealth management. We're going to be talking about health. We're going to be talking about spirituality and of course we're going to always make it back to business but i mean money is okay 
but actually being able to live long enough to see your grandkids to actually see the fruits of your labor that's even more important so we're going to get into some of that important stuff if you have not got my business series think like a billionaire uh stretch the money you can inquire and i can send you an author copy or you can hit the links in the description to order straight from amazon however you would like to receive the book make sure that you keep me informed and that is all for today guys so to expand your business you want to list yourself you want to always have a marketing budget you want to run ads you want to be a live streamer um, and even if you don't want to be a live streamer maybe you have a teammate who wouldn't mind being a live streamer but live streaming is a really good way to grow your business email marketing and then recruit and train so uh, jump into those on your own time study make sure that you take what I say and you make it apply to your business in a way that it should because I don't know every single individual but I thank everybody who's supporting the channel uh, I hope you guys have a good time tomorrow when we do exit and strategies because I don't hear many people talk uh, talk about exit and strategies but exiting the business is sometimes the best part of the business because a lot of people make more money on the sale of the business than they have ever made in the business or before they started the business so that is it for today guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that post notification bell and i will see you guys in my next video